Officer Lee's life and legacy will never be forgotten, especially at the Indiana Women's Prison, where her career in law enforcement began. The prison's nursery is now named the Officer Breanne Leaf Memorial Maternal and Child Health Unit. CBS 4's Courtney Crown shares the impact that her life will have on future generations. IMPD officer Brianne Leith played many roles in her short 24 years, of which mom to a beautiful little boy is most precious. Zane and Bri had a bond that every mom wants with her son. This is a quote from one of the officers that knew her very well, said every day that she dropped her son off was very apparent and so refreshing to see the love that they both had for each other. The look in her eyes when she kissed her baby was so pure and sincere. Her care and concern for her son was like no other. She would always bend down to his level, I love this part, and talk softly to him to comfort him. Bree's natural nurturing gift blessed others at the Indiana Women's Prison, where she was a correctional officer. She knowingly understood that offenders are people, and to treat them with respect and dignity most often elicit the best results. Bree showed compassion for women stuck in the midst of a difficult chapter. They're being better mothers because of the impact that she had on them while they were, you know, under her watch. A women's and children's program in the prison under her name, where bonds form like the one shared between Bree and Zane. She's not only affecting one person or, you know, the offender, she's affecting the lifestyle of that baby as well. So, I mean, the things that she did while she was with us, I think, will carry on, you know, for uh, generations. A beautiful person consistently bringing others forward. She had a way of making you think, <laughs> you know what, I really can do better. I want more for myself. Courtney Crown, CBS 4 News. Courtney, thank you. A spokesperson for IDOC says the women who get accepted into this program at the prison must be within two years of their release date. Well, we heard more about Bree's empathy and concern for others during the memorial service yesterday. Dr. Chris Holland, the FOP chaplain, shared this story about Bree helping a man who's homeless. There's a story that I was told that someone took some groceries to a little homeless man that was on the side of the road in her district and gave him some groceries. And, and as they handed him the groceries, mom, they said, well, how are you doing today? And he said, not good. They killed my cop. They said, what? She said, they killed my cop. He said, oh, you, you, knew, you knew Officer Lee? Yes. And he pulled his pots and pans and said, she's the one that bought me my pots and pans. That touched me deeply. Because that, with all I've learned, that, that totaled up and summed up her heart. 